Hey, welcome to Nourishable. I'm Dr. Lara. Today is March 27th of 2020, and the COVID-19 pandemic has turned the world as we know it on its head. Social distancing is one of our most important tools to help slow down the transmission of the novel coronavirus. But we still need to eat, and we still need to get groceries. So here are seven tips for healthy grocery shopping during the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's science it. I just went grocery shopping yesterday and the experience was pretty different from normal. So I've put together these seven tips based on my observations, on nutrition research, and on current evidence from the CDC. And a note to my future viewers, hello! The situation is dynamic, so make sure to follow the latest recommendations from your local health authorities. Tip number one, make a plan. All good grocery shopping starts with a plan. To avoid going grocery shopping too frequently, map out about two weeks worth of meals and snacks. Aim for the foundation of those meals to be fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. I actually made a music video about that recently. Link in video description. There are no foods that specifically prevent or treat COVID-19. But eating a variety of plant foods with all of their colorful nutrients helps support a healthy immune system. Consider getting a mix of fresh perishable items like salad greens, some hardier produce that stores for longer like sweet potatoes and squash, some dry pantry goods like barley and beans, plus a mix of canned and frozen goods. One of the silver linings of all this time at home could be trying out recipes that incorporate new nutrient-dense foods into your diet, like swapping out white rice for whole grain farro or experimenting with a new combo of roasted veggies. Tip two, write your grocery list on a piece of paper. Usually I write my grocery list on my phone, but touching items and then constantly touching my phone seems risky. So during this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm going old school and writing my grocery list on a piece of paper, and then I can just leave my phone in the car. Tip three, practice good hygiene and physical distancing. If the store provides wipes for your cart, use them. If hand sanitizer is accessible, use it. While you're shopping, you're inevitably gonna be touching shared surfaces, so be extra careful to not touch your face. And aim to keep six feet of distance between yourself and others, whether they're other shoppers or store employees. Tip four, stock up, but don't hoard. You definitely wanna stock up on enough for about two weeks, but this doesn't mean clearing out the entire store of all the canned tomatoes and toilet paper that they have. And many stores are putting restrictions on certain items. So when I was grocery shopping yesterday, customers were only allowed to buy two cartons of milk, two cartons of eggs, plus there were limits on paper products and cleaning supplies. So you may have to be flexible on some of your purchases. Maybe your favorite brand isn't available, or you'll have to buy some produce fresh instead of frozen. And keep in mind that you can always prep and freeze your fresh produce when you get home. So buy what you will use, but not more. Tip five, commit to what you touch. This novel coronavirus can survive on surfaces for a pretty long time. So don't go squeezing every avocado. Look with your eyeballs and then touch once to pick your product. Tip six, be considerate and gracious. Grocery stores are providing an essential service. Their employees didn't sign up for this, but they're putting themselves at risk stocking shelves and checking out customers to help fulfill our need for food. Normally, I shop with a bunch of reusable grocery bags, but here in New Hampshire, they've banned the use of reusable bags for the time being due to the increased risk of shared touch surfaces. So be considerate and follow the rules that have been put in place. Be patient and show gratitude. A smile and a thank you can go a long way. Tip seven, clean items when you get home. Inevitably, all those groceries that you just bought, they've been touched by many people. The latest evidence shows that this novel coronavirus can survive on cardboard for 24 hours and on plastic and metal for three days. Links to the studies in the video description. So treat everything that you just brought into your house as potentially contaminated. Disinfect non-porous surfaces like glass, metal, and hard plastic with household cleaners and then treat the porous surfaces of your produce the same way that you treat your hands. Wash with soap and water for 20 seconds and then rinse under running water. Now, this may be overkill. So far, there's no evidence showing that anyone has gotten the coronavirus from food, but we just don't have any data for how long the coronavirus survives on these surfaces. Dr. Jeffrey Van Wingen made a very comprehensive video documenting how to safely clean your groceries before storage. Link in the video description definitely watch it. This is hard. It's really hard, but it won't last forever. Social distancing is the new term in our lexicon, but what is really needed is physical distancing. So let's be physically distant, 
but socially close because we're in this together. That's what science tastes like. <laughs> <laughs>